Hi, there is Ramiz Muharib again. Uh, in this video, we will present how to use uh, pre Muharib package uh, pre to model uh, to model linear structure. Uh, pre Muharib package, it's a package in Dynamo, Dynamo Revit. Uh, it's, uh, by using this package, you can access to many application like Civil 3D and AutoCAD and Excel point cloud uh, and uh, add, add extra node for uh, Revit API to handle Revit API and Sovistic uh, also has you can connect for Sovistic uh, database or TD file uh, through this package in this video I will focus how to use this package to model linear structure uh, linear structure it's any structure follow axis and alignment like bridge and tunnel here here you have here's you need to follow a uh, three four step to get the pin model in Revit uh, first step we uh, we create a corridor in in civil 3d file and in this case we'll use two corridor high and low frequency corridor and I will present next slide why I use this then I will use a three point adaptive family to model the bridge deck itself or bridge object. Step three, create Dynamo script to access to link uh, the objects in Civil 3D and it, uh, objects in Revit together to, to generate the BIM model. And this is what, what, we, what I will focus in this presentation. Final, uh, final we will get, get the output or the bridge object in Revit by using 3-point adaptive frame. First step, how to use a corridor, civil 3D corridor. In this case, I have two corridor. I use, use this, this two corridor, one called high frequency corridor and one use low frequency corridor. To run this corridor, I will use sub-assembly composer and here we use very, very simple sub-assembly composer, just one point. And we give this point a code. In this case, in, in this example, I use BGL. You don't need to create a complicated sub-assembly composer, just a very simple sub-assembly composer, it's enough in this workflow. First, I will define high frequency corridor. High frequency corridor is the corridor follow the, ax the, ax the axis and the gradient, the profile. And the important issue here is the frequency. Frequency here is small discretization, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And here, that's very important point to model low frequency, high frequency corridor. High frequency corridor is a corridor we use it to get the center line of the bridge or feature line use it to place the, uh, the linear structure, bridge or tunnel. Here I care about uh, small discretization because I, I, I care about the accuracy of the uh, polyline or center line generated by corridor. Other corridor, is low frequency corridor it's the same like high frequency corridor but the only difference here is the frequency here we use large discretization here i use uh, 10,000 or something like that this is very large and make sure every changing in alignment or super elevation or target yes 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 because i care in low frequency corridor to catch all the change in the alignment or profile or target or any change in the transportation data. For that, as you see here, there's a low frequency corridor because I use high frequency or lar large number of discretization. For that, he catches this point and this point. This, this point is a control point or the point has, has change in alignment and profile. Why I need, I need this point? Because I will use later adaptive family with three point and as you know three point adaptive family can be form only or model only uh, line or arc for that i need to respect this point control point to 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 generate to use three point adaptive family with accurate model here in this slide as you see here's a high frequency corridor high frequency corridor i use small discretization Low frequency corridor, I use large discretization. And these two corridors uh, in civil 3D file. In 
step two i will use three point adaptive family and there is a lot of now now three point adaptive family is widely used in the in two model linear structure and i will add example uh, file with this video uh, for this example but very important point before i leave this if you open template i will show you how to define the 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 concept the concept the how to use how to define the three point adaptive family here i will use okay plan here first you insert three point okay and convert this three point to adaptive make sure this three point has z global and uh, innocent x y okay back to 3d view here i will add the reference point hosted by adaptive point by activate this faces first then insert this point a reference point hosted by adaptive one this reference point will hold the cross section of the bridge or tunnel okay now i will select all these three reference point activate the view okay okay then we will get the face of family let's open it from here for example i consider this face of family general face of family generated in a mass family here and should be parametric to help you to increase first i will activate this plan insert the point here that means the reference point is which holds the face of family then activate this again plus this reference point we define the xy rotation on it here you can come here at this angle and define parameter root x y underscore a x y underscore it that means it's related to face a and this will be instant here okay again i will repeat this this task three times face p face p face a face p face c and as and we will use this name in our dynamo script to pass the rotation of x y angle uh, to uh, our family okay then we loft solid between these three phases now we have a, a family object or a family it can be rotate in x y angle plus it has an object itself and it's generated by three phases and that's the final result back to the third step is the geometry is the placement point the, the point i use it to insert the family in uh, in the project here as you know we have two group of placement point control point and this control point coming from low frequency corridor is that mean as you see here it's any change in profile any change in alignment and that's the shape of the uh, corridor and as you see it's uh, it's, it's discretize the, the corridor only at the control point okay then a geometry point is any change in the geometry of the bridge like the geometry of diaphragm or thick web or typical web and so on for that if you have any change in the geometry that's mean you mean that's mean you know the the location of this change this geometry okay in our example I will prepare already uh, Dynamo script and I will go through it. Example. Okay. In the first, I start. I start to access Civil 3D. Here, to use this package, you should open Civil 3D uh, file because this node catch the application from the RAM run now i have the application i already opened from civil 3d you, you access the document 
and from the document you get all the corridor in the file here as, as I said we have two corridor high frequency corridor and low frequency corridor by ID of list we can catch high frequency corridor and low frequency corridor second step we use start station and end station for each segment start station or end station is the geometry point as you see here I insert this station for example station from 100 to, to 101 that means the width of the diaphragm is 1 meter 107 that means we have 6 meter thick web and so on for that I insert all the, the, the segment uh, of the bridge related to any change in the geometry not the control point control point the dynamic script will calculate it automatically for that here I have a station that means from station 0 to 100 100 to 300 300 to 400 and so on for that here I have station start station and in the station and this format should be in list that's very important to use my node later here you can insert any additional station if you if you need to discretize to divide the bridge at specific station for any for any reason for the also you can edit here any extra station and here because we use in dynamo rivet for that we we need to transformation matrix to get the coordinate system of the base point in rivet to transfer everything to the to the rivet coordinate system and here is our node this is our node get, takes a high frequency corridor low frequency corridor I already catch it direct from the civil 3d API and here a uh, feature line code feature line code as I said that's the code I use it to define in sub assembly composer here I use BGL I use the same uh, sub assembly for post corridor high and low for that I use here BGL for high frequency corridor and low frequency corridor and the start station list take care if you use multi span that mean here this should be list and in the station additional additional station and here's a document transfer that's coming from here plus if you use here three point adaptive family that mean number of adaptive family you will use in this case I will use three you can use adaptive family with more than uh, three point or two point but minimum two point okay next step let's freeze this point okay and run the output of these nodes this is not very fast and uh, it's very very powerful and calculate all the placement point you needed to place the adaptive family and if for example start station 100 and in the station 200 and in between these two station we have change in alignment or profile that means we have a place a control point he will consider that and divided this this part of the bridge to two element not uh, one element to to model accurate for example if you are here and you use 200 station and 300 station and here you have one two three control points that's mean from here to here he will insert single adaptive uh, element three point adaptive family from here here another element from here here another element from here here another element for that is very important to respect this control point in analysis now we finish he export for you the point as you see here he divided to number of group number here number of group num number of list is the number of stations start and end station you insert here you have eight geometry station and here you have st start and end station for that you have eight segment between start and end station and each list has a the, the 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 division of this part of, of, of from station 100 to 200 for example you have extra additional station or control station for that this should be divided to to sub subdivision to respect the control point for that each list has has a, a group of points this group of point is uh, the, the placement point I needed to model our bridge 
to handle just to handle i use flatten flatten again to respect to generate the list of point as this format list of list list of list list of list and so on here i use all the bridge it's single family type but sure if you need to generate each part of the bridge a different family family type you can you can handle it here okay then let's run what what we'll do now we will run to insert the family but it's very important to calculate single parameter is the parameter is x y angle and the second parameter is the value of the parameter as you see here the output of this family bridge deck type multi-span point and coordinate system we use now coordinate system to calculate x y angle here by by get the coordinate system get the vector from the coordinate system x y and calculate the angle between the vector coming from the coordinate system to the global coordinate system a uh, global vector x about that the global sometimes the, the angle here calculated maybe we needed to 100 minus this angle or 90 degree plus angle depend how how did you build your family uh, build your family okay now we we will run to place the adaptive family then after after we place the family we calculate the parameter name each as as you see in the family we define the angle rotation x y underscore a for each for three faces and so on and here okay let's run and see what's happened here in the project run now we will place the bridge here of second and we will generate it over here. yeah finish now we have the bridge in the the step of family is final he generate all the family i cycle three times to and make sure it's longest to have all each each instance repeated three time to define parameter to x y x rotation x y at a p c and here xyt here 9 uh, 9.99 uh, uh, element also then the same number as the angle and the element also the same because i repeat it three times okay 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 final let's see the model here is the model generated based on the axes and profile in civil 3d and each element here this division it's division of the uh, geometry i i insert it in the control point plus the cord the div extra division coming from the uh, transportation data or control point i hope this, is, this video will be you and for any question just contact me and the the, the script is available and the uh, the, dy the dynamo package uh, primo harib package available and this node i use it here start from rev6 thank you bye bye